Hey hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to write a Marie program to check a number is a prime or not. Um, so uh, here, here the code. Um, I, I'm going to uh, um, give some brief explanation how the, uh, how the, algor uh, how the algorithm works. Okay? So um, first of all we're going to uh, uh, take the input number and store the uh, variable x. And then we load the constant two. Um, so this this one uh, technically gonna be a, a, a constant, and we uh, assign that value to the index i. Um, next, we are gonna try to calculate what the upper bound of the uh, of the loop. We want to check. Uh, if the values of the enter variable are uh, going to be divis uh, divisible by any of the number from 2 to h minus 1. So this one going to be the number minus 1 and we store that to the variable u. That's the upper bound of the, of the, um, of the loop. So the, our loop here gonna be running from 2 to h minus 1 and to check any of the number uh, from 2 to h minus 1 gonna be divisible by h or not right so if we detect any number uh, divisible by h so we gonna go into the um, output that gonna, uh, sorry that's gonna be a not prime number because that divisible by some number less than x right otherwise we're gonna show that's a prime number okay so that's our approach <coughs> All right, so the the first loop right here, technically we're gonna run from uh, i equal uh, i equal two to h minus one, and we're gonna check any of the number in there gonna divide by h, right? So uh, first of all, we load uh, i, and that the first value equal two, we store into the i one. So that is the current value we're gonna try to you to check, right? So that the uh, divisor. And the current divisor that uh, denotes as hii1 and then we load h and we uh, store that value into the uh, variable h1 as well that's the current uh, value of the uh, uh, dividend right and then we have the two uh, values we gonna call the function or we jump into the uh, division function right so if you uh, follow my previous video, I just should be able to understand the uh, division function right here. So division function technically they enter two numbers, and you're gonna try to calculate the uh, quotation and so the remainder. So we have a h as the uh, dividend, and i is as uh, i h one as the uh, dividend and i one as the uh, divisor, right? So um, using this one, we're gonna try to calculate what is the um, uh, quotation and the remainder of uh, h1 uh, divided by i1, right? So uh, if you uh, do not follow uh, the um, division function here, just please uh, please check the other uh, video uh, where I show the detailed explanation about the uh, function right here okay so um, again the output of the uh, this function that's gonna be the quotation that's gonna be q of h1 divided by 1 and also the remainder uh, r of the h1 divided by i1 right so um, Using this function, uh, we gonna have a, a so we gonna a more focus on the remainder, right? Because if one number divisible by another number, the remainder gonna be zero, right? So after we call the uh, this function, um, we gonna a um, we gonna a jump into check function right here. Once we get the value of the remainder, we gonna go to check. Check right here. So technically, we load the remainder of the h1 divided by i1, and then we use the skip con um, for comparison. So the output of the um, 
division uh, function that the uh, we uh, care the most that the remainder right so once we get the remainder we're gonna go back into the check function right here so the check function gonna be loading the uh, remainder of the h1 divided by i1 um, and comp using the uh, skip con with foreign red so it means if the remainder equals zero we're gonna skip this one and we jump to the not primer right because that's uh, some of the number from 2 to h minus 1 divisible by um, or, or, or h1 divisible by uh, one of the number from uh, 2 to h minus 1 right so we're gonna jump into not a primer function uh, right here Technically, we can uh, load zero and we are put into the, um, the console, right? On the other hand, if we check the um, remainder, um, check the remainder right here, it's uh, not equal to zero. Uh, we can jump into next. So next right here, technically, we can load the uh, value of i. We add one to it and then we store into i so now we're gonna like uh, go through the loop with the uh, value of i increased by one right and then we're gonna check if that value i the, the current value i gonna be compared with the uh, upper um, limit that's the uh, h minus one is that the subtraction right here gonna be greater or less than zero if it's less than zero it means we already check all of the variables and we did not find any of them uh, divisible by h uh, so it's mean gonna be the prime and if it's not right uh, if uh, the the index area here is still less than the upper we're gonna go back into the loop right here we check again right so that that's gonna be the 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 algorithm and uh, some of the initialization right here uh, h that's the input value either index run through the loop from uh, 2 to h minus 1 uh, u that's the upper limit equal h minus 1 i1 that's the current value of i h1 is the current value of h and we use it, choose this one for the division function right q and r that's the quotation and remainder and three um, a constant right here we use in our program I think that, that that's all um, that's all about the other uh, program so let let uh, try to assemble it all right so successful run uh, let that with the value of seven so we know seven that's gonna be a prime number and we expect the output gonna be one okay that's seem like working um, let's say eight Oh, that's good. So that's the not prime number. Uh, it take a little bit bigger. Let's say 23. That's the prime. Okay. That's the prime. Uh, let's say uh, um, 30. Okay. So that's going to be zero. All right. So I think the, the program uh, worked. Uh, as expected and uh, I think that that's all about the um, the, the code to uh, check if a enter number is the prime or not of course you can uh, optimize and also uh, make the uh, loop right here maybe shorter but um, for the purpose of this one uh, that's just, just uh, a a program that does work and uh, be able to check uh, the enter number prime or not so I hope that helped and uh, uh, please let me know if you have any questions and also if you can subscribe, I um, appreciate that. Th th thanks a lot and uh, see you guys in the uh, next video.